What's up everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today is a very special day because we are going to be moving into our very first YouTube studio. Up until now, our garage has been our storage space. We filmed some content here. We're usually filming in our on our driveway. Not ideal. And it's also not ideal when we're working in clients' homes. We can't really curtail our content to special requests or anything specific that somebody is looking to learn. So now we can really bring you guys through start to finish and do pretty much whatever we want, however we want, whenever we want. So I'm really excited for that. Uh, we already packed up the truck. Chris is here. My dad's here. My sister's here. We got everybody here helping. We're gonna be moving in. We'll give you a quick little tour. We got some plans for the space, so we'll go over that and probably go do a quick material run if we have time and also get some food because we're already hungry. Um, yeah, I'm so excited for the space and I'm so excited to show you guys. So let's get to it. All right, so this is it. Lucky number seven. I just realized that we got unit seven. That's my favorite number, so. And here we are. So this is the little office area, which we're going to redo. This is our little bathroom. Bam. Yeah. So the people who had it before us, actually, really funny story. Um, they are woodworkers, and we actually found them on Instagram because we had to rip down a bunch of pieces. It was like a big piece of plywood. We have to rip it down for a job, and we didn't have a table saw big enough because we're not woodworkers, but we were doing a trim job for somebody. So we had to rip it down and we reached out to them and they allowed us to come here to this unit and they did it for us. And it just turns out that they were moving so they needed somebody to take over their space. So we did. It's funny how that kind of stuff works out. So we're gonna move some of our stuff in here. What's up guys, Chris here. So the first thing we had to do was unload the truck. Once we got doing that, we started taking some measurements so we knew how much material we needed to get from Home Depot. We chose to make the space 10 feet deep by 24 feet wide. The next stop was Home Depot. We went with the 2332nd plywood to give the subfloor some extra rigidity and 2x10s for the joists to make sure that it was nice and structurally stable. Once we got back to the unit, we started cutting our joists and laying them into the space. Like I said earlier, we we're gonna make the space 10 feet deep by 24 feet wide. So we just started measuring out the width for the joist. And once we had them all cut, we started adding them into their, their correct spaces with 16 on center spacing. We started by screwing in the corners of our frame by using Simpson framing screws. These screws are purposely meant for framing um, and we opted to go with screws because we needed the ability to disassemble this in the future. So once we got everything screwed into place, we started moving the platforms into their perspective places. We opted to move it before we screwed them together to make sure that we could actually move it because they started getting pretty heavy. So once we got the platforms moved into place, we then screwed them both together so that way they didn't move around on us. Now that we have all the framing done, it was time to start laying our plywood. The first thing we did was snap a chalk line to make sure that our, our plywood was nice and square to our platform. By doing this, it gives us a guide to follow. That way when we lay our plywood, it's not hanging off one side or the other. I don't know if I mentioned this before, but we are using Legacy LP subfloor. It's an OSB plywood. It's 23, 30 seconds thick, and um, we opted to go with the thicker subfloor for extra rigidity on the floor, especially when we're gonna be doing tile. The nice thing about this plywood is that it has the <clears throat> screw location marks around the perimeter of the board and around the outside. So it makes it really easy to install. It's also tongue and groove. Uh, just to mention, I may have mentioned this again before, but we did not add glue because we need to be able to take this plywood up and down um, so we can refigure the studio as needed. 
neat little trick we did at the end was uh, we just put the end piece on and then we ran a chalk line and I cut it right there in place. Made it super easy to install and, and kind of saved us a little bit of time for when we were getting ready to cut these pieces. As you can see here, you just snap your chalk line and I went right up against the other edge of that joist and got a nice flush cut. I had to go back and fix a little bit right there, but it came out pretty nice. So what you see behind me so far, we have a platform built. It is 25 feet, 24 feet to be exact, sorry, by 10. So we're gonna have three full bathrooms in here that are eight foot by six foot, and we can reconfigure, deconstruct, build, basically make whatever happen. As you can see, our garage is definitely not optimal for content creation. There's just not enough space in here. So I am really happy that we got into that space. The next step is to frame up the walls. So if you're following along, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, put on your notifications so that you can follow along on the wall build and all the other exciting plans that we have for the space. Our idea is to have every part of that studio to be nice enough to film in, if that makes any sense. So we have other cool ideas for the different spots in the space. What we're filming, what we're building out right now is literally just like the staging area where we can actually build bathrooms, but we're gonna have a spot where like we can do actual talking shots like I'm doing here. We're gonna make like a little lounge so that if like anybody wants to come hang out, you can. Um, so we want it to be like a really cool little spot and yeah, so stay tuned for all of the other ideas we have and all the other crazy things that we're going to come up with. So thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you on the next one. Bye.